Hi everyone. In today's DIY projects, we are crafting with Dollar Tree items. We'll be creating some beautiful home decor items on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. For your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For our first project, we are using tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be joining six tower blocks using my Gorilla Wood Glue. I'm using a straight edge to keep my pieces aligned. And I'm making 12 sets of those, four for each frame. And we're making a three piece set of wall decoration. So we have four sides for each frame. So I'll show you how to make one. And we're making a square. You just want to overlap the corners just make sure that it's straight if you have a square go ahead and use one And I'm just attaching more of my tower blocks along those seams going all the way around my frame. Pay attention to how I'm placing them. I'm making sure to lock the seams in each corner. So this is a very strong frame. Now I'm done applying all my tower block pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Kills interior primer and I'll just prime my frame. And I'm using a sponge to do so. Now it's all dry, I left it overnight to dry. I'm going to be using my Rust-Oleum Hammered Silver and I'll give that one coat on the front and on the back I'll be using just regular silver. I'm also using a 12 inch mirror and I'm attaching both pieces with my Fix-All Adhesive. And the frame is the exact size. I'm going to be adding my rhinestone ribbon to my tower block pieces. And I'm going over the edges also. To hang my frames on the wall, I'm using Velcro strips and I'm using two pieces, one on either side. And here's how this project turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Let's move on to project number two. I'm going to be using this magic spring. I think it's called a slinky. I'm using two thirds of it for my bird feeder to um, hopefully get rid of the squirrel and I'm using the other um, one third for a vase we're making a vase okay I'm just wrapping the slinky around this empty tower block box so I can spray paint it and I'm going to be spray painting it gold I'm also using a cylinder vase from the Dollar Tree 
and I'm using my painter's tape to tape off what I don't want to be exposed and I'm exposing about an inch and a half at the base. Now I'm going to be spray painting on the inside with my Rust-Oleum Gloss White and on the outer base I'm going to be using my Metallic Gold. Just clean your vase before you spray paint it. And for the slinky, you want to go upwards with the paint, turn it upside down and do the same thing. Now they're all dry. And I'll just go ahead to wrap my slinky right around my vase. And I'll just wrap it all the way around. And you can cut the edges so they'll stop in the back. Okay, just try to even it out. And here's how this project turned out, guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to project number three. We are also decorating a vase and I'm using the foam board from the Dollar Tree. I'm just wrapping that foam board around my vase. I'm cutting off the excess. Just make sure that it's the perfect size. Then I'm just carving my foam board. I'm using my pencil to make creases on the inner side. This will be the inner side just for the foam board to be more flexible so it can wrap nicely around my vase. I went ahead and removed the outer paper on both sides and that will leave us with just the foam. For my vase, I'm going to be spray painting it flat black on the inside. And for my foam, I'm going to be spray painting it gold and I'm going to be spray painting it lightly. Just spray paint the foam lightly, just small mist until you have the perfect look that you want. Now I'll go ahead and use my tacky glue to attach um, gold foil to the edges of my foam board. and I'm covering up all the edges and the sides. I'm using my fix all and I'm just spreading that all over the back of my foam board and then I'll attach it to my vase. Just try to get it straight 
plastic soil does not give an instant hold but it will hold in place just let it get tacky for about a minute and then you attach it And here's how this project turned out guys i hope you like this one now let's move on to project number four we are using train tracks from the dollar tree and this is a two pack i'm going to use just one you notice that little seam in the train track when you bend it i'm going to cut that off now it's all nice and neat i'm also using this terrarium I'm also using acrylic gems and I'm going to use my hot glue to attach my acrylic gems going all around my terrarium dome and this is a project that I did in the past I think in December when Dollar Tree had their um, Christmas globes out I used a globe at that time so they're not available now so I'm using this terrarium so in case you want to make it you can go ahead and use this Now we're done, you can remove the lid and I'm going to be cutting off this um, little tip from my train tracks on both sides. And I'm also using my exacto knife to pierce a hole in my lid. And I'm doing that for both sides. Now I tried to attach it with hot glue and thumbtack. It did not work. Okay, so I'm going to be using two little screws. Just place the screw through the train track and then open the hole on the lid large enough to fit the tip of the screw. Then screw it right in on both sides. Just make sure that it's nice and straight before you tighten it. Now that's perfect. I'm going to take it outside and I'll spray paint it with my metallic gold and then I'll give it one coat of my clear gloss. I'm also using a small mirror and I'm just using some petroleum jelly just to go over that glass before I spray paint it. And you can just use paper to cover the mirror because this is a lot of cleanup. And you can spray paint the train track and the lid separately. It's going to be easier for the next step, which is to add mosaic mirrors. Now I'm adding four rows of my mosaic tiles. I'm just starting right at the tip. The mosaic mirrors are self-adhesive, so once it touches the train track, it will lift the paint, okay? So just be careful. I'm also doing that on the inside. And this is where you'll need to do it first before you put it together because it's hard to go around the curve. Now I'm done attaching my mosaic mirrors and I'm just reinforcing the ends with my hot glue. Now we're basically done with this project. 
you're just gonna place um, your frame on top of the mirror you can use a RGB light if you'd like okay with remote is best so you don't have to lift this up to touch it then you put your globe on and here's our finished product guys I hope you like this one let me know which project was your favorite this week and if you'll be recreating any of them thank you so much for watching if you missed last week's video here it is on the screen just click that rectangular box to watch please remember to give me a thumbs up before you leave i really appreciate that please share this video with someone that you think may be interested thank you so much again for watching i really appreciate your time take care and i'll talk to you in my next one bye bye